Hello, my name is Dan Oakes. I'm the president of BVO Enterprises and the creator of the Cookin software. I'm actually the programmer who made it. And I'm going to take just a couple minutes here to show you how easy it is to use Cookin and to explain why Cookin is the number one best selling recipe organizer with over 3 million copies sold. Let's say we're looking for something yummy to make for dinner. Finding a recipe in Cookin is simple. You just go to your cookbook library. That's where you're going to find all of your cookbooks. And in this case, I've only got one cookbook in this database. But this cookbook has quite a few chapters, and finding those is simply a matter of clicking here and expanding this. And now I can see all the different chapters in my cookbook. And finding a recipe is simply a matter of clicking it. And I can browse from one recipe to the next, to the next, to the next, looking for something that looks good enough to eat for dinner. Oh, that's a cool one. Look at that. I've got uh, a lot of recipes to choose from here. Whoops. And so finding a recipe and cooking is really simple. But sometimes, you know what I like to do? I like to just open the fridge and see what I've got on hand and find out what I can make for dinner. And in this case, I've got chicken on hand. So I'm going to search my recipe database to see what I can make with that extra chicken. It looks like I've got quite a few choices here. And I can just go from one recipe to the next to the next, browsing for something that looks good enough to make for dinner. But sometimes what I like to do is go to the cookbook shelf and grab some cookbooks and just start flipping through, browsing through the food photos. And you can do that with cooking as well. Just click this photos checkbox here and search. And now, Cooking's going to display and list all of the recipes that have food photos with them. And I can just go one by one through all of the recipes that have food photos looking for something that looks good enough to make for dinner. But what I really want to do with recipe software is organize my own recipes. I mean, I've got recipes um, written on the backs of envelopes for my grandma and newspaper clippings and magazine clippings. And I've got recipes that I've printed out that I found on the Internet. And um, I want to find a way to organize those because they're out of control. The great thing about cooking is that you can organize your own recipes in the software, and it's really easy to do. You just click on this cookbook library here to create your own cookbook. I'm going to call this the Oaks Family Favorite Cookbook. This is a collection of Oaks Family Favorite recipes. And now I'm going to click Save. And now my cookbook appears on the cook in the cookbook library. See that? But there's no chapters in it. But that's not a problem. I can just click here, New Chapter. And I'm going to create a chapter called Desserts, of course, which is what I love. And now you can see the Oaks Family Favorite Cookbook with a chapter called Desserts. And now I can add a recipe by just clicking New Recipe here. And of course, enter my fudge brownie recipe. This recipe serves five and this was given to me by Aunt Ida. And it's a simple recipe. It calls for three. Now I press C for cups and it fills it in. F for flour. Two T A for tablespoons. B for butter one teaspoon of salt. You know, this isn't quite big enough for me. I'm going to just expand this. And now I can go down here and say mix flour with butter and salt. And then bake for uh, 400. I need the degree symbol. That's not a problem. I go edit, insert degree symbol. 400 degrees for 20 minutes. This is a delicious recipe, folks. Don't try this at home. <laughs> and now I can click Save and save this recipe. And then I can click View and view it here. And you'll notice that the recipe is um, displayed in this graphical format, which really is a nice way to style your recipes. In fact, there's a number of these themes to choose from. I can change themes by just clicking here and choosing, how about this uh, DVO.com theme. I like that one. That looks good. Or I can choose a different one. There's dozens of them to choose from here. I like this under the C one. That one's really cool too. Look at that. So anyways, um, you know, entering your recipes and organizing them in the cooking software is easy. 
It's simple and it's a great way to keep track of all your favorite recipes. Well, that's a great way to organize my personal recipes, but what I really need to do is find a way to keep track of the recipes that I find on the internet. For example, I've got this fudge chocolate fudge cake that looks really good that I found on the Food Network. I want to keep track of that. Well, you can do that with cooking too, and it's really easy. You just highlight the name, right click, and choose copy. And then you go into your cooking software, and you create a new recipe, and now I can right click and choose paste and put my recipe name there. And now I go back to the website and I highlight the rest of the recipe. And then I right click and choose copy. And I go back to cooking and I right click and choose paste. And now I can save this recipe. And now what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to change the theme to this plain one. Because I like that one. It's nice and simple. And now, there's my recipe. This recipe has a food photo, though. And I really like the food photo, so I'm going to save this, too. I'm going to right-click on it and choose Save Image. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And now, in Cooking, I'm going to click Options, Add Photo. I'm going to find it and double-click it. And now there's the photo with my recipe. So organizing the recipes you find on the internet is really easy with the cooking software. And once you've got your recipes in cooking, then you can do some really neat things. Like this fudge brownie recipe, for example, serves five, but we're having 13 people coming over. Well, the great thing is with cooking, it'll automatically adjust serving sizes for you. So no more measuring madness or getting out your calculator. Cooking does all that for you. You can print your recipes also. You just click print here and you can print it on a 3x5 card or a 4x6 card or on a full page if you like. And so sharing recipes is really easy. In fact, if you wanted to, you can email the recipe to a family or a friend. Just click options, email recipe. And now I can send this one to bill at bbo.com. A recipe for you. can't type, you're making me nervous. You're going to love this recipe with the flour and the butter and the salt. <laughs> and now I click send and cook in will email the recipe to them. There it is. So sharing recipes, printing recipes is really easy and one of the neatest things you can do with cooking is print a family cookbook. So what I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to grab another um, chapter from another book and I'm going to drag it over and I'm going to add it to my cookbook. So the Oaks Family Favorite Cookbook now has a desserts and a, I'm going to change the name of this, Mexican Recipes Chapter. And now I'm going to click print on the toolbar here and Cookin' will now print this in a cookbook format. It makes a title page and a table of contents with my chapters and the page numbers and my recipes. And if I go all the way to the end, it even creates an index just like you would have in a printed cookbook. And so now you can print these and you can photocopy them and make them and bind them at a local copy shop and give away a personalized gift that people will treasure. And if that were all that cooking did, that would really be worth it and it would be the coolest thing. But it's not. With cooking, you're going to actually save, simplify meal preparation and save time and money at the grocery store by making menus. You just click menus on the toolbar here. And now I can make a menu for one meal or for a whole day or for a week or for a month. Well, for three months, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and make a menu for just one week. I'm going to copy this menu, this template, and I'm going to call this Dan's Week 1. And in this place, I can enter preparation instructions like um, chop vegetables at beginning of week and store in Ziploc bags. That'll save me time in meal preparation. And now, 
Making a menu is simply a matter of dragging and dropping recipes onto my menu. If I want chimichangas for Monday, then I just drag them and drop them there. I could even have my delicious fudge brownies for dessert on Sunday. And refried bean beans to go with the chimichangas. Tortilla chicken soup sounds good on Wednesday. I can grab uh, <clears throat> oh some fried apple rings. That sounds good. And I can go and simply select recipes and drag them and drop them. I wonder what's in this Italian sausage and spinach pie. I can double click this recipe and I can preview it over here. Hmm, that looks good. Spinach is healthy. So I've got a good menu here. Now, in addition to dragging and dropping recipes, I can just add food items. So on Sunday, for example, I may want to have also a half gallon of milk as well to go with my fudge brownies. That's a good combination. And once I've prepared my menu, and it's simple to do, just dragging and dropping, then at that point, I can make a grocery shopping list with one click. I just click list on the toolbar, and cooking will go through each of the uh, recipes in my menu and all of the food items, and it'll combine them and make a grocery shopping list for me. But one of the neat things that cooking does, that only cooking does, is it'll convert from recipe units to store units. So it'll convert from um, tablespoons of butter to ounces and from cups of flour to pounds so I know exactly how much to buy when I'm at the store. It puts all of the food items into categories so all my fruits and vegetables are get together and my beverages and my cooking and baking and so forth. So my grocery shopping trip is simple. It even goes through and adds up the cost for all of this and gives me an estimate on what my total grocery shopping trip is going to cost. And in addition to that, cooking will even combine and add up all the nutritional values for all of the items in your menu and tell you exactly how many calories you're going to be consuming or how, many, how much cholesterol or carbohydrates and so forth. So with its menu planning and grocery shopping and nutritional analysis and with the way that cooking organizes your recipes and keeps track of your favorite recipes and the recipes that you find on the internet, cooking is an unbelievable product, but there's something else that makes cooking unique from all the other recipe software that's out there. One of those things is that if you go to the DVO website, you're going to see that we have hundreds of electronic cookbooks that are formatted for cooking, and you can download those right into your recipe database at a fraction of the cost of the printed book in the store. And in fact, with your purchase of the Cook and Recipe Organizer, you get a free e-cookbook of your choice. In addition to that, you have access to the Cooking Forum, which is where you can interact with other cooking software users. This forum has 9,688 articles that have been posted. There's about 2,500 registered users. And so that's a great way to share recipes and to exchange cooking tips and ideas and ask questions and get answers. In addition to that, we have a monthly newsletter that we send out with great cooking articles and recipes. And in fact, every issue comes with a featured recipe that has a video clip that shows you how to make it. We have decorative 3x5 and 4x6 cards that make it um, easy for you to print your recipes and share them with style. We have an easel type binder that makes it easy for you to access your recipes while you're in the kitchen magnetic recipe card holder and all kinds of other accessories recipe card boxes and so forth and we have outstanding technical support this is one of the reasons why people love cooking the most is because if you need help with anything you can watch video demonstrations and read how-to guides and frequently asked questions but best of all you can contact our award-winning technical support department you can do a, a live chat or send an email message but one of the things that makes cooking most unique from not only the different companies that make recipe software but any company that I know is this 200 percent satisfaction guarantee I actually don't know of another company that, that does this but we do because we have that much confidence in our product if you buy cooking and you're not entirely satisfied you could return it and not only will we refund your money but we will purchase the recipe software of your choice and send it to you for free that way it's completely risk-free for you and that's 